My name's Cliff Eaton and I'm a Chartered Physiotherapist. I'm a long-standing clinical specialist with a remit to promote the effective use of electrophysical agents across the world. All right, so today we're looking at a tip how we can use our Chattanooga muscle stim to encourage biofeedback and use it as an internal focus. We know from Ben Jansmin's work in 2015 that if we use external focus, in other words, we're teaching our, our movement control in the conscious part of the brain, when the patient goes off and returns to sport, or returns to their daily activity, they, they lose that movement pattern. So it's much better that we teach the patient in the subconscious part of the brain. And muscle stims are really helpful adjunct to that. And I want to show you how we can use it using the MI um, action function. So I've got a patient here with poor scapular stability. And I want to encourage him to use his lower traps before we do um, um, mobilization of the, of the shoulder. So I'm going to choose a program called Disuse Atrophy. It's a program that works at 35 Hz and targets type 1 fibres. Our stability muscles obviously have a high proportion of type 1 fibres. So I select the program, I press start and the first thing that happens is that this little sensor here is scanning the muscle to identify what is his chronaxi. Chronaxi simply means the minimum pulse width with the minimum energy in order to get an action potential. This ensures that we not only get a, a safe and effective treatment, but also comfortable for our patient. So what I want to show you now is using a small amount of intensity. I can get the lower trapezius muscles to fire and get the scapular position in place. On the first session, we do this, it allows the patient to understand what the type of movement they need to produce. And on the second, I ask the patient to replicate this, this movement by recruiting lower trapezius. And when this sensor picks up that this muscle contracts, it rewards him with a muscle stim. So hence we get the biofeedback. We also get an afferent impulse to, to the brain and in turn then the brain processes that information and, and provides an efferent stimulus back to, to, to the muscle. So you'll note that I'm, the patient is learning the correct way to fire this stability muscle, but I'm not giving any instruction because I want him to learn this in the subconscious part of the, part of the brain. And then I can progress this movement onto adding in mobilization exercises um, to, to the shoulder.